Santos are not one of Brazil's richest clubs, nor do they command the biggest support, but when it comes to consistently producing sparkling attacking talent few can match them. The likes of Robinho, Neymar, Gabriel Barbosa, Rodrigo and most recently, Juventus hopeful Keo Jorge have all graduated out of the club's academy in the last 20 years and now Marcos Leonardo is gearing up to follow in their footsteps. At 19 the striker is making a big impression, both at Vila Belmiro and in the wider football world. In this video we will take a look at Marcos Leonardo's career path, playing style and possible transfer moves in the future. Share your thoughts with us down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Marcos was born in Itapatinga in the northeastern state of Bahia and at the age of 11 moved to Sao Paulo, with his family keen to give him the chance to develop his prodigious footballing ability. Marcos Leonardo's father has been a huge part of his journey. The influence of his father has been apparent from the very beginning. His earliest memories are watching Brazil games on TV together, as well as watching his dad playing semi-pro having seen his own dreams of becoming a footballer fall short. I've always worked very seriously since I was young, Marcos says. My father always showed me videos of games, mine and other strikers, and we always analyzed my development. Trials with Sao Paulo and Santos were soon forthcoming, and Santos won out over their rivals to sign the youngster. In fewer than four full seasons as a part of Santos' youth ranks Marcos helped himself to more than 100 goals, including 36 in a single Paulista under-17 championship which broke the state record. On and off the field, Marcos Leonardo demonstrates a maturity beyond his years underpinned by a patient and calculated outlook. As is generally inevitable for young players in South America, he holds big dreams of playing in Europe and representing Brazil in the FIFA World Cup. Now let's talk about his style of play. Marcos Leonardo is a complete forward. He is extremely dangerous on the counter-attacks thanks to his pace and acceleration. As opposed to most of the explosive players he has superb technique and ball control thanks to his Brazilian flair. Despite his height has great jumping skills and he is an aerial threat in the opposition box. Marcos has a great sense of positioning while receiving through balls and he is a very composed finisher capable on both feet. This style of play makes him unique and valuable. I saw in him a brilliant eye for goal, opportunistic and always well placed, the forwards U13 coach Gustavo Roma recalled. He is a really good finisher, he always manages to be in the middle of every attack, he's very mobile and intense, with great instincts. He doesn't wait for the ball to come to him, he moves to create the best positions and finish with a goal, that's why he has so many. Discussing his favorite players in an interview, Marcos said, there are several that I am inspired by, Ricardo Oliveira, I've liked him since I was little. Romario, Adriano, Luis Suarez, Ronaldo Fenomeno and Cristiano Ronaldo, who has been my idol since I was little. The goals have continued to flow even as the youngster stepped up to the Santos' first team, making his debut at 17 during the COVID-ravaged 2020 season and this current term is shaping up to be his best yet. Marcos currently boasts 7 in 17 Serie A appearances, prompting reports that Liverpool are considering a move for him as a long-term replacement for fellow Brazilian Roberto Firmino at centre-forward. Marcos's current release clause is set at 60 million euros, a hefty fee for sure but perhaps a sound investment for a player who has already drawn comparisons to former Brazil great Romario due to the ease with which he finds the net. Any such move would take place with an eye more to the future, with the Reds fully loaded with attacking talent at the moment. With Mohamed Salah, Firmino, Diogo Hoda, Luis Diaz and new arrival Darwin Nunez all fighting for places Jurgen Klopp need not rush in adding to his forward line, but that does not necessarily rule out a transfer in the short term. Nowadays, the Premier League's global appeal gives it a huge pull and means that Marcos Leonardo one day dreams of heading to England. I want to play in the Premier League one day, he says. I watch a lot of games, and it is one of the main championships in the world. Not only for the competition among the teams, but also for the whole league. The proof is that English clubs always arrive in finals like the Champions League. Madrid have shown that picking up top Brazilian talent like Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo early can pay dividends when they reach their potential and Liverpool might well choose to take a leaf out of the Merengue's book and invest early. Marcos certainly appears to be the real deal, and while he will only improve with more first-team football and experience his scoring instincts are already fully developed, ranking among the very best in the nation. 
In this video, we took a look at one of the biggest talents of Brazilian football, Marcos Leonardo. Where do you think the youngster will end up? Will he be able to fulfill his promise? Share your thoughts down in comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel.